I'm attorney Stephen New. Over a billion opioid pills have been dumped into the state in the last 20 years by the pharmaceutical industry. As West Virginians, we've all felt the impact of this opioid addiction crisis. If you're the grandparent or custodian of a child who was born drug addicted, call me immediately. Representing innocent children, that's why we do what we do at the Law Office of Stephen. The AAA Cruiserweight title is on the line in this one, but I'll uh, have to mention that disturbing message that we heard from Contra Unit for the members of Injustice. And we also get a glimpse of our main event later tonight. Richard Holiday finally steps in the ring against Savio Vega to determine once and for all who is the rightful owner of the Caribbean Heavyweight Championship. It's a Caribbean strap match in our main event. Plus, tag team action out of the way. Violence is forever. Squares off with TJP and Boo Kudal. The winners get a shot at the MLW World Tag Team titles in Los Parks next week. Laredo Kid putting the gold on the line tonight. He is the AAA Cruiserweight Champion. Of course, AAA, the largest and most prestigious Lucha Libre organization in Mexico. Yeah, and what a great opportunity for Zen Shi, already holding gold in Chile and Peru to try to become the AAA Cruiserweight Champion of the world here tonight. But Laredo Kid, one of Mexico's most decorated luchadors. You got to think he's the favorite here, but Zen Shi, he's a live dog. And here we go, officially underway. And uh, get a quick handshake there. Always exciting to see promotions working together. In this case, MLW and AAA. And so Laredo Kid backs Zenchi into the corner. Both of these competitors very, very similar. They, uh, they really zip around the ring. Well, both of these athletes so skilled in the air, so I'm sure that'll be a factor here tonight. So much at stake here with the AAA Cruiserweight Championship on the line. You know, St. Laurent, you gotta wonder whether or not Leo Rush has a particular interest in the outcome of this one. What a dream match that would be, title versus title. Could you imagine Laredo Kid and Leo Rush, or I mean, for that matter, Zenchi and Leo Rush, battling with the, both the MLW World middleweight title on the line, along with the AAA Cruiserweight Championship. Laredo Kid right now, the champion in charge. Made his MLW debut back in 2019. He's held titles all over the world. 13-year vet. Feeling out process in the early stages of this matchup. Yeah, Rich, we got some posturing early on here, which you see a lot in title fights when so much is at stake. Nobody wants to make a costly mistake early. And great counters here from Laredo Kid, the champion. You saw the quickness. And now Zenshi with a waist lock. Oh, look like who's going for suplex, but no, he just tosses him down. You're never quite sure what these guys are going to pull out of their back pocket. Yeah, Zenshi, a lot of movement there. Very impressive, but wasn't able to connect on that drop kick. And Laredo Kid conserving some energy here early on. Similar size for both men, height-wise, weight-wise. Laredo Kid really exemplifies that cruiserweight style. Zenchi continues to wow us at times here at MLW. Right now, neither guy wants to give up too much. Yeah, and so we've seen a few sequences here where Zenshi has shown a lot of athleticism, was going for the moonsault, Laredo Kid had it scouted. Zenshi able to land on his feet, but so far, Laredo Kid has not taken a lot of punishment. And when you're the champion, and, and you kind of have that championship advantage, if you went to a time limit draw or something like that, you can afford early on to be a little more protective. Oh! Things start to ratchet up now. Yeah, this is what Zenshi's got to do. Combination offense, put those moves together. No! Oh, what a move there, <laughs> upside down into the kick. That was impressive, and Zenshi putting on the brakes that 
Wow! Whoa, man! I don't even know what you call that. Yeah, slingshotting through the ropes there. Great kick to the face by Zen Shi. It's like a flagpole swinging kick. And now Zen Shi with a shooting star press off the apron. Zen Shi in charge here in this AAA Cruiserweight Championship matchup. Yeah, staying on top of the champion here. The AAA Cruiserweight Championship is on the line in this matchup. And right now the challenger, Zen Shi. Slingshot, twisting, Shenta cover. And Laredo Kid able to kick out at two. The odds favor the champion, but Zenchi nearly pulled off a gigantic upset right there. And now throwing an elbow there, center of the ring, deciding to go into a submission, trying to wear down the champion a little bit. But I, I think Zenchi looks a little indecisive early, and I think it's because he has such a wide arsenal that sometimes he's not sure what to go for because he can do so much. Now that, that's the thing, and you know, as we've seen Zenchi, hold on here. Laredo Kid, the fireman's carry. Zenchi out of it, and a big back elbow. But yeah, that arsenal is so deep, you wonder if maybe he streamlined things a little bit, if he'd maybe have a little more success. Yeah, but one of the great things about Zen Shi is that aerial ability, he doesn't just use it for offense, he uses it for defense as well. Finding ways to land on his feet when he normally wouldn't be able to, although he gets kicked in the back of the head there from Laredo Kid, and now it's Laredo looking to take flight. The Enzigiri and, whoa, and a drop kick! A missile off the top rope and Zen Shi Says nuts to this, rolls to the outside. This could be dangerous territory, yeah, though. You gotta watch out when you're on the floor against Laredo Kid. He can come flying at any angle. Zenchi trying to sweep the legs. Instead, a little mule kick there by Laredo Kid, who now climbs the ropes. From the oh, second so. buckle, no look, and yeah, nobody home. Yeah, but he was able to roll through to protect himself. Oh. And a Michinoku driver on the floor. Agony on the face of Zen Shi. What a counter there from Laredo Kid, missing the moonsault, and then without even skipping a beat, just rolls backwards straight into a Michinoku driver. That's the reason why he's been so successful all over the world. Well, this is where the 20 count in MLW really comes into play. Oh, man! 450 off the apron, and both men now, Rich, have shown such aerial skill, flying to the floor, a shooting star press earlier from Zen Shi, and now a 450 splash from Laredo Kid. Up to the 14 count. And Laredo Kid sending Zen Shi right back in. Will he go for the cover? Very wisely, hooks the leg, could that do it? Well, it shows you the kind of champion that Laredo Kid is, that he didn't want to win by a count out, because he probably could have. He wants the pinfall here. He wants to get his hand raised after hitting a big move, not take the count out. You know, me personally, I probably would have taken the count out. Some would say that uh, Laredo Kid, arguably Triple A's top luchador. Oh, I think you could easily make that argument. You see the great championship reign that he's strung together as the Cruiserweight Champion. Yeah, you definitely could make that argument, and he's showing why here tonight. Was a star on Azteca TV's reality show, Exathlon. So uh, a well-rounded star in Mexico. Oh, good Lord, that could do it, but well, Laredo Kid's got something else in mind. Moves off from the bottom rope after a Michinoku driver. That's twice now that he's been able to plant Zen Shi high on the back. And now going to the middle. Oh, but he catches nothing but knees. Try to moonsault one time too many. Great counter from Zen Shi. You got the knees up. You notice the referee has the, uh, the gloves on. I'm not sure who is cut, who's bleeding. Tough to tell with the masks on. But the referee has apparently seen something. Jumping knee from Zen Shi out of the corner. Wow! What a collision! Somersault sent on from Zen Shi. Picking up some speed here. Zen Shi planting Laredo Kid and a running shooting star press for the AAA Cruiserweight title. No, out of two and a half. Laredo Kid hanging on. But Zen Shi's got to keep it up. Just because you didn't get three doesn't mean that you can stop. Keep going, kid. You got a chance to become the AAA Cruiserweight Champion of the World. You've got the champion hurt. You're talking potential major upset here in this one. AAA, the largest 
the most prestigious Lucha Libre organization in Mexico. And right now it is Laredo Kid trying to fire back up, but Senshi with a roundhouse kick, and oh, big Pele kick. So impressive here the challenger has been. He didn't catch all of Laredo Kid with that last kick, and that allowed that opportunity there. Now who's who's in charge? Yeah, we've seen this a couple times now as Laredo cover. for the cover. But just when you think you've got Laredo Kid out, he comes back so quickly out of nowhere. And that's part of what it takes to have the resiliency of a champion. Right back into the cover. This time the leg hooked, not near the ropes, and still a kick out. Zenchi, I think he might have uh, kicked the camera as he got his uh, foot wow. on the bottom the rope earlier on. The yeah. rope. You better watch out, cameraman. Well, that's it. He's trying to become the cruiserweight champion of the world. If you're in the way, he's going to try to get that rope break any way he can. As we see the veteran cameraman down there. Wow, Zenshi. Back foot Pele kick. Caught Laredo Kid right on the top of the head. Snapmare off the top. And Zenshi with the legs hooked. And again, a kick out Laredo Kid. Almost a super snap here off the top rope there, Rich. I haven't seen that one before. And now what's Zenshi thinking? Does he have the coordinates dialed in? He's going up top. And Laredo Kid saw what was coming. Cut him off at the pass, and Zenchi again up top. This time, dodges out of the way. That kick caught Laredo Kid in the chest. Both these athletes so world-traveled like we talked about, but they've also been traveling all over the ring, all over the floor, all over the venue. These guys are comfortable on the turnbuckle, on the ropes, anywhere. Very dangerous situation right here. Zenchi now going to the top, and Laredo Kid. Uh, both of these guys battling for position. Oh, but such a dangerous spot for both of these men. Spanish fly off the top. Laredo Kid, is that enough to put it away? He got him. The winner of the belt, Laredo Kid. Live by the sword, die by the sword. If you leave Laredo Kid on the top rope too long, he will find a counter, he will find a way to win, and that's what we had here tonight with the one-man Spanish fly as Laredo Kid, the blood coming from his mouth, but he still has his championship. He is still the AAA Cruiserweight Champion of the world. Incredible battle to kick things off here this week on MLW Fusion. A lot of high-flying action throughout St. Laurent, but ultimately it was Laredo Kid with the Spanish fly off the top. Laredo Kid, still the AAA Cruiserweight Champion. I am the best cruiserweight in the world, and I prove in AAA. Now, I'm here to prove everybody, all the world, who is Laredo Kid. I beat Senshi. He was double champion. Now, it's my time. I want to be a double champion right here in MLW. Then, I want Leo Rouge. I won. I won the champion. I won that belt. The middleweight champion. The middleweight title. Gonna be from Laredo Kid. Gonna be to Laredo Kid. Nothing can stop me. Booyah!